Landon, what's shaking, bro? Not much, man. What's going on? Good. You got a you got one of those deep voices, like a radio voice. Yeah, I've been told that like pretty much my whole life. Yeah. Good, good. What's shaking? Yeah. Well, um, you know, well, first off, you were talking about those dogs, like yeah. uh, girls with pets. You got an uh, experience to share? I do. Um, so my last girlfriend, she had two dogs. I had my own dog. Um, and we moved in together. Oh, basically sweet. off of a one night stand. Um, <laughs> what are you guys like from... a lesbian couple? You move in right away, <laughs> dude. Whatever, man. No, it was it was more like. Uh, so we met on New Year's, banged it out, had crazy wild sex, slapping yeah. each other around, just fucking really good stuff. Yeah, and uh, turned into because I was, I'm, I was, I'm a musician. Well, I kind of was until COVID hit. Mm -hmm. But I was working on a cruise type of ship, a riverboat. Mm -hmm. And so I'd be gone for like a month and a half, two months. Come on back. We'd hang out for a couple of weeks. Um, I would go back on the boat, you know, and then it turned into like, I'm feeling sad and lonely. And you know what? Interesting. I'm actually kind of thinking because a big reason I ended up stopping doing that was because, uh, because of kind of what I was wanting to ask about, which was dealing with loneliness mm -hmm. um, as a single guy, me being a lone wolf kind of type. Um, I don't necessarily like that about myself. How old are um, you? I'm 36. Okay. I'm 36. Are you um, more introverted or more extroverted? I'm a little bit of both, um, okay. but I can, I can be comfortable on either side for the most part, but I, I guess I would, um, lean towards introverted. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, so, you know, the loneliness really sinks in. Um, and, and the idea of wanting to be with somebody, and I'm, there's this hopeless, romantic, fucking stupid idea in my head that I've always hated. Yeah. You know, um, it's so frustrating. Um, I actually started watching your videos after me and her broke up. How long ago was that? Um, we broke up, uh, let's see. It was October. Okay. October. Okay. So, I mean, you've seen a few of them now, right? So what's the ask here? Like, how do you get over the loneliness? Well, um, just kind of like, I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess so. Because it's like, you know, part of me is taking that pill. And I'm at this point now where I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't really want to, I don't know if I want a relationship. I see all these miserable married people. I see, you know, and I can just, I can the thing about dating now is like, you can just pretty much use Tinder mm -hmm. to, to your way, you know, to an extent. Um, I know that's kind of awful, but I mean, you can get laid that way. <laughs> you know well, I, mean? I think that, you know, like as a guy ways, with, but... with where you're at, I mean, you should be coming up on your SMV peak, you know, which is usually right. mid to late thirties. I mean, it can push into the early forties as well too. Sure. Um, but um, what do you do for a living right now? Like you're working, you said you were, you were, you were a musician working on riverboats? Yeah, I was. Um, uh, I was basically a musician, like a touring musician for like uh -huh. 10 or 12 years. Um, and I'm not a front man. I'm just a side man. I'm a bass player. Okay. Um, that's my main gig. Um, uh, but now I'm, I'm working on cars. Okay. You know? It's like, what are you going to do? Um, you know, I'll say this. Like, when it comes to camaraderie and loneliness – you should never rely on a woman to like fill that for you. I think right. that that's a bad place to start because um, anytime something can be taken away from you, it can become a vice. It can be something that can hurt you, you know, even right. Mm. Um, you know, everything you should, in my view, anyway, you should look at every relationship and as difficult as this might be to understand and hear and Some people are going to mad. I can't believe he's going to say this now, but mm everybody's disposable. Everybody's replaceable. In fact, even if you're in a good long-term relationship, even if you're in a marriage, if you're in a, a dating type of scenario with a chick for a while, mm. she should know without you explicitly saying you are replaceable, but she should know that she can be replaced. Right. She should know that, she, that, that she can't possibly ever only ever be your only source of sexual intimacy ever for the rest of your right. life. She has right. to know that you have choices, whether or not you choose to exercise them right now, it doesn't matter, but she has to understand that, that you have options. So right. hmm. whenever you get like really 
uh, like meat hooked on to like one of these girls, like, ah, you know, I, she's, she, she's my one, you know, she's my true one, you know, we're soulmates sort of thing. (laughs) Okay. Well, she's gone now. Right. And you, and you're left with your bass guitar and your dog and you know, your job working our cars. You're like, well, what do I do now to fill that, fill that void? The, the camaraderie, like that, like that friendship part, I think should come from men. Right. When I want to hang out with um, guys that shoot guns, I got my boys that do that. When I want to hang out with guys that drive supercars fast and cause trouble, and we're on our radios in the cars, as, you know, as we're driving, and we, you know, uh, like do all that fun shit that we're doing when we sit down to eat and drink afterwards and all that stuff. I do that with my boys. I mean, sometimes yeah. you know mm-hmm. the girl will come along with you for the ride from time to time, but it's primarily me and my boys, sort of thing. Those should be the that that should be in my view the prime source of camaraderie so that you're not lonely right right now a woman if she shows up and you know she's a compliment to your life she's not the focus can be like you know the cherry on the top of the cake it can be like the whipped cream on the top of the cake you've already got the cake all you're doing right. is you're throwing something pretty on top of it right mm-hmm. and if you can look at it that way like i already have the cake i don't care if the cherry's on it or not you're happy mm-hmm. with the cake you, you know, you throw a cherry on it, you know, your night can be a little bit better. Right. You see but what I'm saying? It doesn't matter either way. It's still it doesn't matter either way because you've still got the cake. Right. 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 That's the point that you yeah, have to fair. get to when it, you know, when it comes to women. I think that you have to be comfortable by yourself. I mean, right. I realize I'm comfortable back in my by 20s. myself. Sorry. I, I'm comfortable by myself. I, but I'll tell you, man, I have so many flaky friends too. You know what I mean? Are it's they like, married? Yes, dude. That's they're married why, now. That's, that's why. I'm in that age now. It's like they're all fucking married. They're all uh find some friends know, that kids. aren't flaky and married. Right. Because <sighs> they're always right. gonna have boundaries set. Because most guys go into like beta buck zone, you know, they go through beta right. through a thousand concessions in a marriage. So they start, yes, honey, yes, okay, fine. I'm not gonna hang out with Landon anymore. Yes, I know I can't play in the band, whatever the fuck the reason is, but <laughs> they're always it. gonna, you know, create these boundaries. So find friends yeah. that, that that don't have that problem. Either they're sure. single or they're in a marriage where they're the head of the household and what they say goes. And and you're not going to run into flaking issues, right, right? So that's the other part of it, too, is you have to be fastidious about who you're going to allow in your inner circle. You know, you're going to draw a perimeter around yourself and the five people that you want to spend the most time with. Maybe it's five dudes. Maybe it's four <laughs> dudes and one chick. Maybe right. it's one dude and four chicks. You know, you, right. you decide what it is that you want to do, but you only let people in on the inner circle to spend time with you if, you know, they complement your life, if they're not flakes, you know, if they add value and, you know, you can add some value to their life as well. You just have to get, you know, a buddy of mine once once said, if you're the smartest guy in the room, you're in the wrong room. So if you find yourself in a position where you're dealing with flakes and losers and people that, you know, don't respect your time, yeah. Put yourself in a better room so that you expose yourself to better people. Yeah, I think I'm finding that. I'm finding that, but I uh, I realize it will, they've been friends for a long time. Who cares? You know? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I know. Just having to kick them to the curb. They're just well. You don't have to kick them to the curb, man. You just don't. Yeah. You just don't acknowledge right. them and you don't respond to them. Like if they flaked on sure. you two or three times in a row, right? Okay. The next time they're like, "Hey, let's get together," and you know the guy's probably going to flake. You just don't respond to him. You go and make plans with somebody else. Right. That's like. I, I fucking hate that excuse whenever somebody's like, well, you know, I've known him since high school, right? I nice. used to date this That's chick. So true. Bro, I yeah. used to date this oh. chick that had these ha- had like a Been loser there. circle of friends, okay, yeah. for like okay. 20, 25 years. Like, well, I've known them since high school. Well, they're losers, <sighs> okay? You know, for these reasons, like legitimate reasons, right? Mm. Well, I've known them since I don't give a fuck. <laughs> We're going to do this, and they're not coming, or they're not invited, right? Right. You like you like you've got to be fastidious with your time. If she wants to spend, or if she wants to spend time with people that are flakes, that are dumb, that are dumb people in the room, then hey, don't be surprised if you don't get great results out of life, right? Exactly. That's Makes kind sense? of the, that's what I'm vibing. Yeah, totally. And that's I'm what here I want, for you, man. bro, man. The cold hard truth. That's all I deliver. If you want, if you guys want rainbows you. and butterflies, right. talk to your mommy. <laughs> <laughs> all right man get some kleenex thank you rich appreciate See you, bro you, peace